What up everyone, Nerd GTA 5 glitch for y'all. This glitch gets easier and easier by the minute, guys. There's now a total of three emerging how to mod cars in GTA 5. There is one for new gen only. There's two that work for new gen and old. Now I did a video on the one that works for new gen and old already. Now this glitch just keeps getting easier and easier. I'm telling you, this is so easy. A baby can do it. But, but first, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and go ahead and smash that like button, and we have finally hit 102 subscribers, and also if you are looking for fast money services in GTA for Xbox new gen only, please hit me up on Twitter and Instagram, I will have the links to those in the description as well, all you need is a friend, and you need a car that you want to pull the mods from inside of LS car meet. So let's go ahead and get started. So me and my friend wants to be inside our cars and your friend can mod at the same time. So it doesn't matter who starts up the sprint, but for purposes I'm going to start the sprint here because I want to point something out before my friend does join the sprint invite. So I'm going to open my interactions menu, go to LS car meet, and I'm going to go to sprint. Once I start the sprint, I want to point out to you in the bottom right hand corner that it does say one out of four. So you can do this up to one, two, it, three other people. So you can do this with three other people at one time. So my friend joined, it's a two out of four now. So I can get two more people if I want to, but we just want to wait for the sprint to start. Once the sprint starts and we spawn outside and the countdown happens at 3, 2, 1, we want to make our way over to the arena war. Everyone that wants to mod just makes their way over to the arena war. Once we get over to the arena war, I will tell you the next steps. If you want to fast forward through the video, please go right ahead. It won't hurt my feelings, just as long as you would like and subscribe to the video. So I'm just going to make my way over to the arena war. Once the 3, 2, 1 countdown does happen. So now I just want to go to the arena war. Once I get there, I can tell y'all what's next in the glitch. And also in this video, I will show you how to put any car onto low grips too. So stay tuned for the end for that. Now this part of the glitch that we're going to be doing at the arena war, only one person can do it at a time, um, but you can both do it while the sprint is going. Just gotta make sure everyone spawns in with their car for, that they're trying to mod before ending the sprint. That's all y'all want to do, so I'm gonna go first, and my friend's gonna follow up right behind me, and he's it's gonna show that he's able to mod too at the same time. Alright, since I am outside the arena war, all I want to do now is call my mechanic. And I want to hover over the car name that I want to mod. And that car is inside my facility. So I'm going to hover over it. Once I click on my facility. And I want to hold down Y to respawn on Xbox on PlayStation Hold Triangle. Now I respawn it. Now my menu is still open. And so now my mechanic menu is still open. Now I'm gonna go up to the garage door. And you can go up to any garage door you want to, doesn't matter which one. But this time you want the whole Y for Xbox and try and go for PlayStation. But when the bar is just about full, you want to spam A as fast as you can. If it does not work, then just retry it. Now you would go on a black screen for a little while. 
and you should spawn it with the car or mod it. If it doesn't work, just go back to the garage door and do it again. And I cannot promise you video that will work first try every time. Now it did work first try for me, so I was able to mod the car. Now my friend just wants to repeat the same steps that I did. He wants to call his mechanic, pull up the name of the car that he wants to mod, hold Y to respond, go up to any garage door, and once he's at any garage door, hold on Y again. And when he gets close to the line via full, spam A as fast as he can. Once everyone's done and they spawn back in with their car or mod it, then you just want to go and end the sprint race by literally a finishing the sprint. Doesn't matter who finished it, both of you can finish it. it and I'll teach y'all a glitch. So my friend's going to on black screen now. He should spawn back in somewhere with his car modded. If it did not work, he just repeats that process again going up to the garage door. So he was able to hit it first try. So now it doesn't matter who goes and finish the sprint. Yep, we can both go finish it. Once we go finish the sprint, we just want to take the car or our cars to LS Customs, change one thing on it, save it. And then once we do that, I will show you how you can get load groups onto any car in the game. And you can get load groups on any car in the game, on new gen or old. It does not matter. Now, I will also tell you a workaround to be able to do it again back to back. So since I start sprint, if we was to mod again, just call out the car we'll pull the mods from. Go inside Ellis Car Meet and the other person will start the sprint instead of you to avoid the cooldown period. So all y'all want to do is just finish the, finish the sprint race. Doesn't matter who finishes it. Once you get to finish, and then you can go save your cars by changing something at LS Customs. So we're just gonna go try to finish it. Whoever finished it first, then it'll finish for the other person. So I'm gonna head there. My friend's gonna head there. Whoever can go to the destination in the back, then we'll be good to go. So all we want to do is just finish the sprint race. Once the sprint race is finished, you just want to head on back. See where the sprint race destination is going to. So this video will be kind of long, guys. If y'all want to fast forward to all this to get to the next part on how to save the car by changing something on it and also putting uh, all grips onto the car you can but just stay tuned guys I will get to that point of the video real soon since we're able to finish the sprint here
Now it's very important while y'all trying to finish a sprint that you do not crash your car to where it blows up because if you do, then you will have to remod it before ending the sprint officially. So the sprint is over, now I just want to make my way to any LS Customs and I want to just change one thing on the car to save it and then to get low grips on the car you must go to LS Car Me and I will show you how to get low grips on the car once I change one thing on the vehicle at LS Customs and so can my friend needs to change one thing on his car at LS Customs if you go straight to LS Car Me, unfortunately Late, it will not be saved when you load into LS Car Meet. I'm going to go to the nearest LS Customs near LS Car Meet so I can sit there and change something on there. But I can go to really any LS Customs inside the game. I'm just going to make my way over here so I can change one thing onto the vehicle. So I'm just going to go inside of here and I'm going to change one thing on it but also I'm going to put a livery on it that was unlockable from GTA Plus members only. But usually the only thing you want to do is just change the armor or to save it. As long as you just change something on the vehicle so I'm just going to change the armor and I'm just going to add this livery real quick to it for now and then I'm going to back out drive over to LS car meet and I'm going to pull into LS car meet and show you how do I get low grips onto any car inside the game So you just want to take any car and you want to put low grips on over to LS Car Meet and you want to modify it in the mod shop by going inside and pressing right on D-pad once you load into LS Car Meet. So I'm just going to pull right on in just like so. We're back to where we were from square one from when we first launched the glitch. So now I'm going to get inside my car and I'm going to press 
Right on the D-pad to modify my car. I'm going to go inside to the mod shop. And you want to go to wheels. Tires. And go to the second one on the list. And there you go. Low grips. And now the car is on low grips. Back out completely. And now we successfully modded the car and put it on low grips. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all find it very easy and successful. And like I said, just to do the glitch again, just go ahead. If you still have a cool down period, have your friend start up the next sprint race. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you need help with it, join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.